What's up, family? How you guys doing today? I'm the with Milky Tech, and today we have a special video and a guest star. Come on in, brother. Hey. Hey, how you doing, baby? Doing good. Doing good, good, good. And today, we are building him a PC. We're gonna go from this to... My brother had an itch to upgrade his computer, even though GPU prices are crazy expensive, but he got a good deal on it. Well, it's time for this old i5-4670K to rest and retire, and it's old 970. Without further ado, let's introduce the PC parts we picked. And family, remember, this is the computer that I refurbished. Link footage will be right here. So this is gonna be another series where the first episode is about unboxing and the specs that we use for this PC. The second video is going to be me teaching how to build this PC. And lastly, we're going to put Windows 11 on this PC. But first, we're going to clone the operating system from here and port it to the new PC and then upgrade Windows 11. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that step by step so you guys can follow along. Yeah, and then we'll run some little benchmarks, see how fast that PC is. Before we continue, if you guys enjoy this content, smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell. It really helps out the channel a lot. So, let's run down those list of parts. So, the first part is this Roswell Cullinan MX Tempered Glass Case. Reason we went for this case is, well, it's a pretty case, has RGB, and the price was right, at $80. Now that we have a case, we need a motherboard to connect all the components to. And the motherboard that we chose is... It is the MSI Pro Z690A DDR4 motherboard. And it runs the, the i7-12700K. Woohoo! We're overclocking. One day. Next, we need a little memory, right? So, we got some... G-Skill Trident Z Neos. We got our RGB. These are 32 gigs at 3600 MHz. Well, we gotta cool down our CPU, don't we? So, we're going with... MSI Mag Core Liquid 280 Rad System AIO. Looks like we're building a wall. All right, next we need some storage, and we need kind of fast storage. We don't want to wait around for load times. So what we picked is boom. So we picked up a terabyte of this MSI Statium M480s, only at 7,000 megabytes per second. Only. And of course, we gotta game somehow. We gotta send these frames to our monitor somehow. So what we picked was MSI RTX 3070. And the version we went for is the Ventus 2X, which is overclocked. And lastly, we need some juice. I got the power. We got this EVGA 750 GT. It is 750 watt, 80 plus gold power supply. We'll guarantee to deliver clean power so none of this will fry up. All right, let's unbox these guys. So first and first, let's unbox this Roswell case. The incision here. I think we can bring this guy back to life, though. All right, to take out such a big object. You just flip it on inside. And pull straight. As you can see, this box has been through hell. But because they use the proper styrofoam, the soft, nice, squishy styrofoam padding instead of the hard ones, the case is still in one piece. All right, let's get this over. Check this out. And you had to go get the one with a double temper glass. Now the cable management in the back has to look good too. All right, so on top of the case, we have two USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0s, a reset, power, headphones, microphone, and a fan controller. Low, medium, high. And a magnetic dust filter. Fantastic. In the front, we have a nice big tempered glass with 320 millimeter fans. And of course, we got take that out. Party. On this side, we have some vents, the tempered glass side panel, and a nice view of the interior. And on this side, we have another Temper glass side. All right, so let's look at the inside. Taking these side panels off is pretty easy. There's four thumb screws and they come right out. Just be extra careful. This is glass and tempered glass shatters. It doesn't crack. So it'll be a big, big mess. 
Ooh, just drop it. Take out the other panel. Bottom mounted PSU has its own little shroud. It's vented so it can suck in as much air as it wants. Three 120 millimeters in the front. And cable management routes. That's awesome. And it looks like they have all the risers for ATX installed. Back to the back. Okay. Here is our fan controller that controls all our fans. And it's also the RGB controller. We might not use this and connect it directly to the motherboard. This way we can control everything in software. And we have a goodie box with all the stuff we need to put our computer together. A remote for RGB, cable ties, zip ties, screws, everything you need. All right, let's go to the next component. Now we're gonna unbox this MSI Z690A motherboard. Before we unbox it, let's go over some of the features that it has. It has a robust power design, a 14 dual rail CPU power system with Dr. Moss, two CPU power, so you have two eight pins, front USB type C, which is awesome. Latest gen lightning USB 20G, which gives you 20 gigabytes per second. A lightning gen five, which basically they're overclocking. That's pretty cool. It has 2.5G LAN, so it goes up 2.5 gigabytes per second. It has an extended heat sink design and an M.2 shield frozen which is basically that piece over there to cool down your M.2. A little heat sink on it. All right let's open this guy up. No tape. That's awesome. Our motherboard. We'll look at it later. Drivers get it from the website. A nice thank you note and a reminder to register your product at MSI.com. Quick user guide. Two baggies of screws. Two SATA cables. And your back I.O. Here's our motherboard. A little overview of the motherboard. Our DDR4 slots, motherboard power, USB 3, Type C, our SATA ports, M.2, 1 M.2, 2 M.2, and M.2 with the heatsink. LGA 1700 socket. We have a nice heatsink up here on our power delivery. Two 8 pin CPU power. A whole bunch of fan connectors up here. And there's another one here. Two more over here. And we have an RGB port here. You can connect plenty of fans to this motherboard. Nothing on our back. Just a little back plate. And here's our audio driver for our 7.1 driver. Two 4 USB 2.0. Our PS2 combo. HDMI and DVI. USB Type C 3.2. And a 2.5G LAN solution. And our audio. All right, let's go on to our next component. All right, next is our CPU. Should be a nice, quick little unbox. Ah, don't cut your fingers. Two tabs pops open, and here's our CPU. And here's a sticker, you know. Every time we put a sticker, 5% performance increase. And here is our CPU, our Intel i7-12700K. It is unlocked. It should be fun to play with and overclock. To our next product. Next thing we're unbox is our Trident Z Neos. Not much about it, so. It is 3600 megahertz and it's a 32 gigabyte kit. Another sticker. Here's the RAM. It has a nice heat sink on it. RGB on the top. A nice black PCB. These are high quality RAM sticks. And to our next product, the MSI M.2. This is a terabyte M.2 that runs at 7,000 megabytes per second. It is fast. It is a Gen 4 M.2 SSD. It has five years of warranty, and I can't wait to boot up with this M.2. It should be awesome. And it is tiny. We just got two little stickers on here, some serial numbers, black PCB. It looks really nice. Can't wait to use this. Next on the list is to unbox this MSI AIO. Not much on it. We just have a whole bunch of support for CPUs. This here doesn't support LGA 1700 on the box, but if you let them know, they'll send you a free air break everything off. Not only they have wrapping on it, they have tape. We're greeted with a quick installation guide. Styrofoam, we got two fans, a plethora of mounting gear, and lastly, the cooler itself. Let's try to take it out without damage. Here's the radiator, our line, and the CPU head. Remember, whenever you're installing this, you take off that little plastic here or it will overheat. And you get RGB cables. Next thing we're gonna unbox is this power supply. A little about this power supply is 750 watts. 
It's 80 plus gold. It has all the necessary connectors. Whenever checking on power supply, I like to make sure that it has a single 12 volt rail. Um, they tend to be the most stable and, and most efficient at delivering power. This has an auto eco mode, so it will save power when you're not using the computer as much, which is awesome. Anywhere you can save is great. And it is quiet. All right, so let's open this guy up. It is just a power supply. Another piece of tape here. I'm gonna make sure the secure doesn't fall out. Or anything happens to it. A user guide. We have 24, we have 24 pin. Okay. Now we're gonna unbox this MSI. And without further ado, let's unbox this RTX 37. We have all the technologies from DLSS, ray tracing, and an NVIDIA Ampere Arc. We have a nice little envelope here. There's an MSI reward program you can join if you would like to, to earn points and uh, gear. Quick solder guy. And I guess lastly, our graphic card. It's a pretty small graphic card. It's about 3070. It is thick though. It has a pretty beefy cooler on it. We have a nice backplate, two 8-pin PCIe's, two fans, our PCI E port ventilation and and three display ports and an HDMI and that concludes this portion of this series we have unboxed and went over the hardware we're using we are building a bleeding edge system and that's why we're going with such high end hardware we're trying to go for all that FPS I'm trying to get all of that speed so guys don't forget our next video should be coming out where I'll be showing how to build PC. If you guys enjoyed this content, smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified when I release my next video. If you guys have a question, a comment, or want to say hello, drop it in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.